folks, and welcome back to Bemusing Bill, and welcome back all my area knots as uh, we continue this journey through the source. And we are now on the very last song of Chronicle 2, The Alignment of the Ten. Now, this song is called Condemned to Live, because now, as we have continued on this journey, and if you're just checking this out for the first time, go to my channel and you'll see that we've done from the day the world breaks all the way through and in following an order of this story. So right now, we are at the point where the survivors have left the planet Alpha on the Starblade. And they are heading toward this planet outside of the Star of Sarah. And they're feeling the guilt of, you know, what, why am I here when, when so many die? And, um, you know, that's a, that's a pretty heavy topic. Pretty heavy topic. Um, so I, I didn't want to spend too much time talking about it. I, I, I think you all know wh where we're at and, and what's happened. And... The fact that uh, they have left, and you know they're 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 traveling to another star system. It's going to take a long time. I think they have to be in like some kind of sleep, like some kind of I don't know cryogenic sleep or or some something like that for the journey. So everything on Alpha will be Alpha will be gone. It'll be no more. Now even if they were just leaving to go check out a new planet and maybe colonize and nothing was wrong with Alpha. The journey is so long that every single person they've ever known will be dead anyway. Uh, life will change. Um, they would never recognize the, the planet if they returned. It would be like hundreds of years later. It takes a long time to travel through space. So, um, but they know that everyone is going to die on that planet. The planet itself is is gone. So that is a is a heavy burden on them. And um, let's get into this right now and uh, we'll just see how we, we, we move through this. All right. And bring up the screen and let's let's check it. has a Pink Floyd vibe to it. Sounds like James Labrie from uh, Dream Theater. Uh, he's got a certain tone to his voice. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit familiar with Dream Theater. Um, only with uh, Pull Me Under, really. I couldn't name another song. I wonder if I should do some Dream Theater songs on here. Would you guys be into that? Uh, you know, it's funny as I met John Petrucci and uh, Mike Portnoy way back in the early 90s. Because their girlfriend's band, Mean Streets, was playing a show and my girlfriend's band, Bedlam, was opening. So I got to meet those guys. And they're really, really, really cool guys. Um, but I never really followed them too much. I knew that they were incredible musicians. But if you guys would like to see some Dream Theater stuff, hit me up in the comments. But I believe that's James Labrie as the historian. <laughs> Thank you. 
My petty life, it seems so trivial. The whole world is about to die. If all those billions fade away, then who am I to stay alive? Condemned to live, doomed to leave my world to die. The guilt weighs heavy on my mind Trapped in this void Deprived of dignity and joy Their secret hopes and dreams destroy Yeah, I mean, think about this, right? It's not only that you've lost your life, like, you know, like everything in, in your life, your your all your memories, every every place you've gone to, every person you've ever known or met or worked with or went to school with or, you know, um, you're leaving behind your life, yes. But I mean, more, more ways than one because the source... That liquid eternity, it's going to make them, it's going to genetically change them to be able to survive on a water world in the water. And it will make them immortal. I mean, I don't know if there's any other physical changes that will happen, but they are not going to be the same people that left Alpha when they arrived. And that's, that's mind blowing. That's like, you know, oof. That's that's a tough pill to swallow. Simone. a nautical feel to this. So, all right. 
right. So we heard uh, um, Simone come in. Now, Simone is the counselor, right? And I see that Flora is now singing. I'm not sure who the male vocal is, uh, but I could tell Flora's voice too. And uh, she is the biologist, correct? Um, let me just back up a little bit. It sounds like each, it sounds like they're all saying the same thing to each other, commiserating on what's happening. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take down the screen. And I do believe... I do believe... Yes, there's lyrics. Yes, the historian starts out. So, James Labrie. I can't believe it really happened. It's all slowly sinking in. I left behind a hopeless race to fight a, f to fight a war they cannot win. And then the, it was the chemist who comes in, right. Um, my petty life, it seems so trivial. A whole world is about to die. If all those billions fade away, then who am I to stay alive? Well, let's see. Um, Tommy Rogers is the chemist. Forgive me, I don't know these other bands as well as I do with like Epica and Nightwish and, and Dream Theater, at least his voice. Also, it seems like the historian starts out the songs, but um, Tommy Rogers from Between the Buried and Me. Have to check out some of that, I believe. Okay, uh, so he says, all right, then the historian comes back with, condemned to live, doomed to leave my world to die. And the chemist says, the, the guilt weighs heavy on my mind. The historian, trapped in this world, deprived of dignity and joy, and the chemist replies, the secret hopes and dreams destroyed. I thought there were two voices in that spot there, but I, I couldn't completely tell. But yeah, secret hopes and dreams destroyed. Well, like all the things that you wanted to do in your life are gone. Um, then it goes into the diplomat. Now, the diplomat is Michael Erickson from Circus Maximus. I'd like to check them out, too. Um, and he's having a conversation with the chemist now with this. But the chemist is just kind of keeps referring back to liquid eternity we're about to start our journey so focus on what lies ahead we have the chance to save our future we're alive the past is dead um and you know the chemist is like you know liquid eternity the source will set us free we need to find a way to thrive there preservation of our race and alteration gene mutation transformation of our strain yeah they're not going to be the same race eventually their children if they were to go back to alpha wouldn't be able to survive there without some other kind of you know adaptation um let me just bring that down yes now the counselor comes in simone condemned to live doomed to leave our world to die the guilt weighs heavy on our mind Trapped in this void, deprived of dignity and joy, their secret hopes and dreams destroyed. Oh, I see. It's the opposition leader. And he's the one speaking with um, Floor as the biologist. So the opposition leader is Tommy Kar Karevic? Tommy Karevic from Camelot. I've heard a lot about Camelot, too. So that's another... That's another rabbit hole to check out. I'm, I'm just getting into Blind Guardian now, uh, so I'm more familiar with Hansi, but he's not in this song. Uh, Condemned to live, doomed to leave our world to die, he says, and Flora says, a fate we could not avoid. That's the truth. Well, yeah, that's the truth. The guilt weighs heavy on our mind, he replies, and she says, but we have no choice, no other choice. And he says, trapped in this void, deprived of joy, and which is what it's repeating, you know, that, you know, yeah, this is what's what's left. 
Uh, now we need to think of ourselves, Flora says. And he says, uh, you know, secret hopes and dreams destroyed. And she says, we need to break out of this hell. And I'm assuming they're still meaning Alpha, right? So now they're on their way. And that brings us to the end of Chronicle 2. So we'll be starting Chronicle 3 as soon as possible, my friends. As soon as possible. The link for this will be down below in the description box. If you'd like to support this channel, those links are below as well. Join our Patreon group. It's a great little group of musical lovers. And a lot of exclusive content on there. I'm going to be putting more content on there. Because uh, YouTube is is uh, really hard on us creators. So check that out. And until the next time, be good to each other. Take care of yourselves. And thank you for being on this journey with me. Love you guys. Peace. <laughs>